DWI has become uh, what I would say is the crime du jour. This is, this is what we see when we look at the paper. When we pick up the paper on the driveway in the morning, um, you're going to find something about somebody getting arrested for driving while intoxicated. Um, and, and lately what we've seen is uh, a rash of wrong way accidents where people are, are crossing over and hitting people head on. Um, I mention that because it has become, it's not only a um, criminal justice issue, but it has become largely a political issue. So that, especially in, in, in Nassau and Suffolk counties where everybody has to drive and everybody's concerned about the roadways, um, Kathleen Rice in Nassau and Tom Spoda in Suffolk have made it um, the focus of their job to make sure that these cases are handled seriously, uh, that they are prosecuted seriously. Everybody knows that the legislature has passed new uh, laws that increase the penalties for driving while intoxicated, that increase the um, requirements um, if somebody has been convicted, that they have to uh, install an ignition interlock in their car so that they have to blow into their car to make sure that they aren't drinking so that the car will start. Um, driving while intoxicated has become the, the focus of these district attorney's offices and it requires a vigorous defense. It is no longer the day where somebody can get charged with a driving while intoxicated offense and just go to court by themselves and not have a problem. It seems that every case requires a vigorous defense, requires a, an attorney who is up on the law and who is not afraid to go to trial on these cases. Um, in the beginning of my career, uh, it, it just so happened that it was a large part of what I did. Um, I have tried, uh, I can't even count how many um, jury trials involving driving while intoxicated and in some cases bench trials where I waived the jury, uh, where I felt that the judge that I was in front of was, was sympathetic to what are in large part very weak cases for the district attorney's office, especially where there aren't readings, where the, where the defendant has refused to submit to a, a chemical test, a breath test. Um, these aren't very strong cases for the people yet they don't plea bargain them, and they don't plea bargain them for political issues because they want to come across to the public that they are strong on these, uh, on these charges. So they've taken a stance that even though we have a relatively weaker case to prosecute, we don't care. Beat us at trial. And so if you're found to uh, have been, if you've been arrested for driving while intoxicated, you need a criminal defense attorney who is experienced in trying those cases. Not the criminal defense attorney who's going to walk in and take whatever plea the, the, the DA is offering. You need somebody who the DA knows will try that case, and that's going to, that's going to benefit you in the long run.